Aloha my lovelies and welcome to our new video. Today I'm making a Mediterranean inspired salad. It's kind of my creation although maybe somebody has already done it. I hope I'm bringing something new with my dressing and my uh, touches. Okay so I've already prepared some things so this video doesn't take too long. Uh, although it's a quick salad don't get me wrong it's perfect served chilled and it would taste even better overnight as the flavors marinate overnight you know what i mean so over here i got chopped up cherry tomatoes you are welcome to uh, use any tomatoes you would like i also have in here a whole uh, onion uh, any onion you'd like of course chopped uh, super square not pulverized but you know small small bites so when you eat into your salad you don't get like huge chunks of onion also for the chickpeas if you use it straight from the can you guys know sometimes it might taste a little bit like with preservatives and it just doesn't taste so fresh or so flavorful it's just weird so i set it in there with the tomatoes and onions and i added this little number here so you might not find this easily everywhere if you find it great if not i have a different alternative for you so you got roasted garlic base here it's a bouillon, but I was like, what can I do? What can I do? I didn't have any garlic powder, and I found this in my pantry, and I was like, score. So I just put about a tablespoon in with the chickpeas, just like that, in with the tomatoes and everything. Juice has got flowing with my Himalayan salt and fresh black pepper crack. Don't be shy on that black pepper, as well as the Himalayan salt, as it's not as potent and strong, okay? So those have been sitting there for a bit, you know, maybe 10 minutes tops. While that was sitting and marinating, flavoring up the chickpeas, I peeled my um, cucumber here into little squares, whatever shapes you like. Uh, so the Beetlejuice design or whatever per se just adds a little bit more eye appeal. You know, we're, we're very visual, visual creatures. You know what I'm saying? We eat with our eyes first. Uh, what you do with that is when you're peeling your cucumber, you just move over a little bit and peel move over a little bit and peel you know what I'm saying so you leave some green on there and then you just cut it up tip with a cucumber if you don't do so already taste every cucumber cu cucumber every cucumber you're going to use as sometimes you might find a uh, bad tasting one you don't want you don't want it to ruin your whole dish I got here cooked barley so for next time I could maybe add the bouillon to the barley when it cooks However, the chickpeas will still not be flavorful, so I'd rather do it this way. After cooking my barley, I rinsed it off. Uh, I rinsed it before I cooked it and after, and I thought rinsing it before would be enough for it not to be come out like pudding-like per se, uh, mushy and stuff, but even before rinsing and cook, like before cooking and rinsing it, it still had that extra creaminess and it might not work so great for um, a salad unless you don't mind that. I wanted to get rid of some of the creaminess, so I rinsed it off and put a little bit of olive oil so it's a little bit more loose and grainy like that, you see what I'm saying, instead of pudding you like. The pudding like would be perfect for sweetness, like with coconut milk or milk and cinnamon and vanilla, girl. For the salad, I opted to rinse it off after and before cooking it. And you see my son's feet over there in the camera. He's like, hashtag not bothered. I'm walking around. <laughs> okay, for the dressing, I would really encourage you to find fresh mint. And I understand you may not find it readily available where you are. So dried is okay, but don't be shy on the quantity. This dressing basically is all about the mint. Fresh is way 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 better than dried in this salad okay so there's a big bunch in here i'm going to squeeze on lemon to it this is how i do it you guys uh -huh. ain't no professional hell so if you don't have got a citrus you know squeeze or juicer that you use you know that's great if not this is how i do it now, in this temporary place, I did not find a citrus grater or any grater for that kind, for that, um, excuse me, for that uh, matter. I think that adding some uh, lemon peel grated into here would be really great too. However, 
I didn't find any. So don't be shy on the lemon. I'm doing a huge quantity. This mint loves its lemon, so at least two lemons. This lemon smells amazing. The better quality of lemon, the better. If you can organic, great. If, you know, it's insane cost, I totally understand. Just try to find at the market a fragrant one. I try to pick it and smell it. Everybody would look at you weird. <laughs> But it will pay off for your recipe. You know what I'm saying? You can get good lemons that are not organic. My son Tipito is thinking that he's not going to appear on camera, but he still does. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Mint and lemon. Can't go wrong with that. So for my barley, I've tried rinsed it. I stuck it in the freezer. I'm not going to lie. Because I wanted to serve this um, salad fresh like cool fresh chilled is that the word they use chilled you know what i'm saying oh this mint and lemon and since i put oil on my barley before cooling it a little bit i'm not gonna put so much in this just a drizzle okay let me move these out huh? i'm gonna munch on those later i'm not even gonna lie <laughs> and get little bit of my olive oil here just a drizzle since i already have some in the barley boom that's it okay i'm gonna add fresh cracked pepper if i can open this mm -hmm. freshly cracked the fresher the better y'all and of course everything to taste everything to proportion if you rather more cucumber than tomatoes adjust that anything you like more or less make it your own you know what i'm saying these are the bases that you can build your creation you know but what's what's really can skip out on honestly is fresh mint and good lemon i mean that's really the I wanted to create something different than quinoa quinoa ain't nothing wrong with quinoa or rice but i was like hmm let's do something different it's my salt and pepper i might i'm sure i might end up adding more however i do have already black pepper with my chickpeas i'm gonna take my barley here i'm gonna start with half the quantity because i don't want it to be take over the veggies I still want it to be rich you know in veggies okay yeah so I'm gonna start with this look at the gorgeous barley see what I'm saying like it's not all super creamy and stuff for the salad okay I add my cucumbers My chickpeas, tomatoes, and onions. Look at them juices. I'm gonna start, look how much juice. I don't know if you can see on camera. It really is tons and tons of juice, that tomato. So I'm not gonna pour all of it here because I don't want it to become a soup. You can use that juice in your rice for another dish or either even as a dressing for another salad. Yeah, so it'd be so tasty. Um, or honestly, if you don't want to save it and it's too much hassle, you can discard it. No, no big deal, you know. You do whatever is best and easiest for you. Okay. Got my chickpeas, onions. Mmm, smells so good already. Without even my mint in here. Okay, I'm going to show you all the liquid, how much the tomato release. You imagine all that in my salad? It become a soup, child. Okay. okay. I'm going to add my mint. And we be mixing. Ooh. Beauty. Yes. Yes, honey. 
Look at that gorgeousness. And I have enough for today's lunch, y'all, and leftovers. This would be easy to pack in a container, take to the beach. Filling meal. Mm, mm, mm. I'm kind of glad I didn't add all the barley in here, although I might add a little more in here as I say that. <laughs> And with the leftover barley, um, you can eat it on the side by itself or get adventurous with it or as a side, some other dish. Yes, this is better over here. You guys, the smells and the aroma in here. <gasps> mm, 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 mm. I got more mint on standby. So let me taste this up on my home. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I'm gonna chop more mints and I will be back with the final touches okay we are back with the final touches I ended up adding almost double the amount of mint and that's because look at this giant giant bowl uh, I was fortunate enough to have some mint on hand I added also some black pepper uh, so quick tip when you get your fresh mint make sure to destem it and then ch wash wash it really really good and uh, what you chop up and add is just the leaves and especially when the stems are thick and you know what I'm saying it will won't be great so this avocado that's round from my previous haul video uh, look at it on the inside <laughs> look at the flesh isn't that interesting it's super thin in there Look at the huge bulb in there. So I was just gonna scoop up some. Mm. Yes, honey. Mm. So this salad is good as is right away with the chilled barley, but I am sure if it marinates overnight, the flavor is gonna intensify of everything and it's gonna be even better. This is a great um, meal prepping meal here meal prepping meal <laughs> meal prepping option and uh, basically the older it is in the fridge the yummier uh, it's gonna get you can serve, serve this as is or with a fresh warm bread or even pita bread or pita chips yes there you have it my minted lemon minted shelled barley salad and one last tip i keep adding tips <laughs> Um, do add lemon and lemon peel. I think that will take it to a whole different level. And fresh mint, the more the merrier. Mm, if you make it, do tag me on Instagram. Not so perfect vegans. And I would totally uh, enjoy to see your creations. And thank you all for tuning in. And until next time, be safe. Love y'all. Bye.